what's going on guys so today i'm going to show you how to do this pretty crazy ai transition that's been being used in a lot of music videos lately most notably used by noah so cold this is just a good transition to fill some gaps in footage maybe where you don't know what to do or even if you just want to use the effect it's still a pretty sweet effect so this effect is pretty easy what you're going to want to do is get two clips it works best when the clips are similar um, because the AI is just going to transition in between the two frames that we're going to grab here in a second. Uh, so when it's similar, it's just easier for AI to read kind of where it's going to want to move the camera. Um, and if that doesn't make sense now, you'll see what I mean in a second. So what you want to do, get the last frame in your first clip. Go ahead and name this still one. Uh, and I'm just naming it that for the sake of the tutorial. You know, feel free to do whatever you want to do. Then you get the second clip. We'll go ahead and do that still too. Okay, and again, like I said, it's the same scene, just a different angle. So now once you do get your uh, two clips, go ahead and open up your browser. And in the browser, you're going to want to type in Kling AI. And now this is a free um, website, they do have a free option, but I do find if you want to use it for a music video, I recommend um, maybe purchasing a plan in one month or, you know, they do have uh, various options. Um, just in case, if you know, the clip doesn't turn out the way you want, you can just keep retrying and not necessarily have to worry too much about running out of credits. Say if you did do it for free, you only get X amount of um, credits. So if you want to use it for a video, I recommend uh, getting a plan, but you might be able to slide by too. So regardless, let's get into it. Then you're going to go over here to AI videos because we are doing a video. You're gonna click frame one, that's our first uh, clip that we're trying to transition from. And once that's uploaded, it's gonna give you the option to add an end frame. We're gonna go ahead and click that, frame two. Our first frame and our uh, second frame that we want AI to transition to. And again, like um, similar scene clips are gonna transition the best because it's just a natural uh, transition. And now here in the prompt, um, this is kind of where you can be a little bit more specific with AI as far as how you want uh, things to transition. And if you go here to the help center, so if you come over here um, to the help center, they do have a pretty detailed uh, site on how to like get the specific, the specific looks that you want, the specific styles, um, just breakdowns on certain prompts and whatnot, just on how prompting can uh, affect your image. But I find the best luck with what I'm going for, just a natural transition in between two clips. I don't really put anything in the prompt. Uh, I kind of just leave it to AI to be creative. I push it down, push the relevance and creativity um, meter down to 3.35. So it's a little closer to creativity. So it gives AI more freedom to navigate on what it thinks the most seamless transition will be. I feel when you put too much prompt in or we get in the way of it too much, it's it just kind of constricts AI. So I kind of just let it like to let it do its own thinking. Now, if you don't have a, uh, a payment plan or credits, you will generally be in the standard mode um, and that will more than likely be in Kling 1.0, but they do work like the exact same way. So this will be the same exact way for Kling 1.0 if you're not in Kling 1.5. So don't worry if you're watching this. Um, the steps are the exact same. Now, motion brush, again, I don't mess with this either. Um, just controls the movement of objects and how you kind of like want things to move but I don't again I don't mess with that I leave it up to AI I just find that I have my best luck with that and for professional mode just richer details superior quality it's just like that very high quality uh, transition uh, compared to the standard mode so and then the duration five ten seconds I find for the um, transitions that we are going for five seconds will be sufficient because we are speed ramping through the transitions too in the second part here so the longer it is it's just it'll be more clunky in a transition aspect. Now, negative prompt, what you don't wanna see in your image. So I generally put low quality um, so that it maintains a higher quality throughout the transition so it doesn't get like too blurry or whatnot. Back to the generating count, this, you get to choose how many clips the AI will generate. I typically do one, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'll do two just to kind of show you guys 
uh, different examples. And then when you're ready, generate. And this is gonna take a little bit of time, so in the meantime, do whatever you wanna do. Go take a bathroom break. Keep sequencing your uh, music video, or whatever you're working on. So, yeah, it's not the prettiest transition, but when it's sped up fast, you won't really notice how it looks like it's from the Hills Have Eyes or something. So this one's pretty smooth. I think this one will probably be better for a transition because that's like a dramatic movement that I feel like you might see even if you're transitioning, but I'm just picky. So I'm going to go here and download the second one because I like it more. One thing to mention too on the free standard version, you are going to have this little watermark down there. This is where you're going to download it from. Uh, and so the premium users should have an option to download without watermark. But if you do have it downloaded with the watermark, you can just go ahead and, you know, size up your clip and post. But let's go ahead and download without watermark because we don't want it on there for the sake of the video. Bring that uh, new clip in from wherever you saved it, import it drag down here and already you can see that it's um, one too small and also too long so let's go ahead and scale this up 200 should do that because I'm working in a 4k um, I'm working in a 4k sequence so I've scaled it up to 200 because it exported in a 1080 and now from here I like to go to time remapping and speed uh, just because it's more controllable gives you um, opposed to having to type in a speed uh, in the speed and duration and so I like to be pretty precise here I like to go as fast as it can go without changing the number of frames in our scene so without this coming back here so the very last speed that I can get a frame out of is what I'll do. So we want the very last frame so that it's almost like a match cut effect through this and our um, new clip. So just speed it until you get um, all your frames out of there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool transition. And if you want it to be quicker or uh, longer, obviously just go ahead and adjust it to your length. But for what, for what that is, that looks pretty sweet. I find the sweet uh, spot for transitions um, between clips is generally like a second to two seconds. Um, but again, it's all subject to taste. But yeah, right there, that's pretty smooth. And it's like a lot of people won't even pick up that it's like an AI transition. They'll just think you did something crazy with the camera, but um, other editors will know for sure. But yeah, again, so pretty simple. So here's an example um, of it used really well in the new J. Kari video that I shot recently. And you can see it right there. Where it just looks like he's leaving the room, but actually it never happened. So again, just another example of a way to use this transition, but it can be used in a crazy different ways, you know what I mean? And you know, sometimes the scenes don't have to be identical um, when you are going to uh, use the first and second frame. Like they don't need to be the exact frame, but you're just gonna get a better chance of it being a smooth transition if the frames do have um, similarities. But yeah, if you guys did like this, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe for future editing videos. I do wanna plan on doing more editing uh, VFX style videos. So if there is anything that you'd like to see me maybe break down, just leave it in the comments. Just let me know for future um, vids. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. If you stayed this long in the video, I appreciate you so much. So peace, peace, peace.